So Hansel and Gretel returned home and lived happily ever after. Wow, that was a wild ride. Sure. Are fairy tales true or not true? Well, what do you mean by true? I mean, did they happen for real life? Well, no. Phew. But they've got true things in them. Like what? Like, you know, it's not good to be greedy and stuff. And if you're brave and honest, things will work out. Oh, well, yeah. Hey, you want to hear a fairy tale that is true? Yes, please. It's about a mean brother who ends up good and it's got a curse in it and even a princess. Wow. And it happened for real life. Yep. You know how I know? How? Because it happened to me. Ooh. This episode of Bowie is called Fairy Tale. This story is set a long, long time ago in a place called the 80s. That's me when I was 10 years old, on holiday with your Uncle Rad and Uncle Stripe. Hang on, where's your helmet? This was the 80s, man. There were no helmets. It was a wild place. Trampolines had no nets. Ah! Your mum wrote your name on everything. BMX seats were high. Music was on cassettes. And skids were big. Oh, good skid, Rad. You can't skid, Stripe. Yes, I can. No, you can't. And Mum wants you. Huh? Made you look, you dirty chook. Ha ha! Suffer! <gasps> You're teasing Stripe. Afraid so. But that's mean. I told you. This fairy tale's about a mean brother. Me. <gasps> but don't worry. I was about to learn my lesson. Bandit, stop teasing Stripe. Make me. Hey, Stripe, your wheels are turning. Huh? Chuck! Jinx! Huh? What's jinx? OK, in the 80s, if two people said the exact same word at the exact same time, like... Snake! One of you would yell out, Jinx! Jinx! Which meant you had ten seconds to touch them. One! <laughs> two! Three! Four! Five! <laughs> six! <laughs> seven! If you didn't touch them in that ten seconds... Dad. They'd say... Scant! And then you could never speak again. <gasps> what? You can never speak forever and ever. Nope. You were cursed. Wow. The only thing that could break the curse was if someone said your name. Do you want me to say your name? OK. Bandidums! Ha! Can't you just say your own name? Nope, you're not allowed to speak. What happens if you do speak? Oh, uh, well, look, I shouldn't tell you, but I think they said... What? That's terrible. I told you, the 80s was a wild place. Anyway, being cursed was not a lot of fun when you're on holiday. Kids, do you want your fish battered or crumbed? Battered. Battered. What about you? Come on, speak up. He wants crumbed. OK. He loves crumbed. Don't you ban dishwasher? Ha! Ugh, I hated crumbed. Who ate all the mini cereals? He did. Right, you get over here. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Nana was a bit mean. Yeah, it was the eighties. Mums were allowed to be mean, and dads weren't much help either. Let's see who can shout the loudest. Okay. Ah! Kids, keep it down. Ah! What do you want, Stripe? Ah, uh, Brad. Ah, uh, Gerald. Ah, uh, whatever your name is. What are you on about? What's he on about? Rad jinxed him. He can't talk until someone says his name. All uh, right. So you want me to say your name so you can talk again? Well, you're dreaming, mate. You know what I call this? I call it a good start. How do I jinx it so none of you can talk? Dad! Is it like this? woo I was never going to talk again. No one was going to say my name. I'm not going to say your name. I think this will do you some good. All holiday you've been mean to your little brother. You can't tic-tac strike. It's my turn now. No, it isn't. <laughs> nice stack. This is a chance for you to have a good think about it. Nana was right. Not about a perm, but about me. I hadn't been a very good brother to strike. I deserve to be cursed. So, when did the curse get broken? The very next morning, actually. I was on my way to the shower block to clean my teeth. By yourself? It was the 80s. Mum! Ow! Stripe had taken a shortcut to the toilets and got stuck in the prickles. Ow! <gasps> so 
you could tell him you won't help him unless he says your name. Oh, yeah. You're right. I could have done that. So did you? No, I just helped him. Thanks, Ben. Dina. Ha <laughs> ha. What? You helped him and even then he didn't say your name? <laughs> That's brothers, kid. To tell you the truth, I was proud of him. But then who broke the curse? Well, remember I said this fairy tale has a princess? Bandit Hila. Is this your hat? Is that Mum? That's Mum. What? Don't listen to him. It wasn't me. Don't listen to her. It was. Well, look, it might have been. We did used to go on holidays to that caravan park. Case closed. But I've got no memory of that happening. Oh, it's like a dagger in my heart. How did you know your name? It was written on my hat. Wow. Either way, it's a good story. But is it true or not true? I need to know. Well, I guess you have to decide. Do you believe in fairy tales? Here you go. Thanks. See you later. Yeah. See you later.